Yes, people. What we have is we have a crisis it, as it really Chamber of Commerce and the various attacks that are being perpetrated against various businesses in the country. We have a situation where the businesses, Chamber of Commerce, is being attacked, disrespected, violated by our people. And for the most part, what we do is we just watch it on news and we just dismiss it and everybody just wash their hands and move on with their lives. What we have there is a matter of national importance. It's a matter of national security also because since our economy is so heavily dependent on tourism, this thing that is happening where in broad daylight people, young people are just going to these businesses with firearms to hijack these places and take their money. It's a matter of national security because we depend so heavily on tourism. And so this situation now it is not something that should be handled solely by the um, Chamber of Commerce and the police. This is a situation that requires national effort. The whole country needs to get involved in dealing with this problem that we are facing. And it is almost like this thing is becoming a joke. In high noon, this thing is happening. In high noon, these things are happening in the country. And so this thing cannot be left to the um, business people and to the Chamber of Commerce to handle. You see, what we have in a number of cases in this country is the mentality that um, these people have money that doesn't affect those people. And so there is a callous mentality and a callous way of dealing with these matters in that we are not sensitive to the um, problems that these people, the uh, business people face. You see, we're living in unprecedented times and surely it is hard for these businesses to keep afloat. And these businesses that we have locally sometimes compete against uh, international businesses that sometimes get strong funding from their governments. But a lot of the businesses that we have, some of them do not really, they do not really get the strong funding for the most part that other um, sometimes more developed countries may get. And som sometimes people believe that these companies are doing so well, but some people, some companies, some businesses are barely making it. And as we said a while ago, this thing is being made even harder with the new realities that we have, um, that we are living under. So basically, it's supposed to be a national um, approach, a national solution to this problem that we are facing. This problem where young people with all of their strength um, refuse to get um, gainfully employed and they will just use guns and go to public um, places to our businesses and to just hijack people for their money and hijack the businesses. We cannot leave that into the hands um, of the business places to deal with themselves. We cannot just abandon them. There are certain things that we need to realize. These same businesses are the same places that employed many hundreds, thousands of our own people. These same businesses. And also, 
a, a lot of our sporting events are being sponsored by the same companies in the various communities that we have the um the, the the team sports that we have football cricket a lot of these teams are being sponsored by these very companies purchase uniforms and give them help in different um in different ways certain times you have situations in the um, community where somebody may need to go overseas or even locally for medical treatment and invariably they would go to these companies for help there are some companies that have a good reputation of helping and so things may not have been a hundred percent sometimes even i and others believe that some companies should be doing more but nonetheless there are those who are very serious and committed um, to the development of people in the country and so it is very important at this juncture that we do not allow these companies to stand alone this should be a national effort this thing about little boys or big and big men using guns to go and rob people rob rob people steal from businesses that cannot be allowed to continue and it should not be the the the, the, the chamber of commerce and business people um responsibility solely or the police responsibility solely to deal with that the whole country has to say no we're not going to tolerate that we are not going to accept that and so this is some, this is something that we really have to really seriously think about and we seriously have to um join in solidarity with the business people um with the chamber of commerce as it relates to dealing with that problem because that's a matter that is affecting all of us this is a matter of national uh, this is a matter of national security this definitely is a matter of national security and every hand is supposed to be on deck you see what happened is we have a situation where we have um we know that there is poverty everywhere even jesus christ said that the poor will always be with us but there are some people who engineer their own poverty i have spoken to young people who have told me that they are not going to work for anybody they will not use their hands to work for anybody for 60 dollars a day and i'm from the rural areas and sometimes we have situation where people want to do work on their farms and there are guys able-bodied young fellows who refuse to go and work they will rather sit down on the block and and just mess around and not go and work and there's work to be done but then there are some people no matter which government is in power they will complain and say that there is no job in the country where we are some people need people to work for them now there was a time some years ago i was working for um a certain place and then i used to go like all across the country to monitor different projects and there was a time when i was going to millet and check out something there now when you go to millet there's like a road that goes left and one that goes straight up to um to where mice lives uh, i forgot the name of the place there's one there's a left a, a road that goes left after you pass vana there's a road that goes left and there's one that goes to tetshime now at that junction at that junction there is like a there was a place it's almost like a place where people uh people come to um to stop the bus it's like a bus stop and i was driving to go there and there were some young men who were actually gambling in the road and i was coming with my vehicle and they did not even hear my vehicle coming i had to literally stop my vehicle and wait for them to leave the road because they were gambling in the road as i told you i used to work and go to all different con different constituencies different communities in st lucia and one of the things that i have noticed is that in certain communities you'll find in in high note broad um 12 o'clock you will get certain coming you'll find certain communities where there'll be young guys um just drinking white rum all day now in certain places like 
you would expect like if a young man with all his strength just in a place not working sometimes you would expect those people to be in wheelchairs that's why i used to tell my friends why am um, why is it that you have some of these so many wheelchair guys in st lucia what i meant is like all young guys with all their with all their youthfulness just behaving as if they're in a wheelchair and they will just sit down do foolishness for a whole day and not work also we have a situation where many of these things that are happening some of the mothers especially the mothers they know what is happening and it is only when something happened like their sons are killed or something like that they will come on news and cry and complain and say he was a good boy knowing very well that these people were not good people but what i'm trying to say is we we reach a point right now where we really have to examine ourselves as a people we really have to check ourselves because we are really sinking um this country we are really sinking this country and in everything for the most part people find um politicians are an easy punchline to hit let's just blame the politicians but when you really look at it you can politicians cannot be blamed for some of the, these activities that you see in there so in closing what i'm trying to tell you is with these things that are happening here right now where you have all these this young so many young people in broad daylight going and rob business places in castries and other um, places this is not a matter to live and live solely in the hands of the business people to handle because we are living in a tough and rough environment tough and rough economy and I feel like the business people should be thinking of how to grow um, their businesses, how to keep their companies um, uh, buoyant, and they should not be too, too um, they should not be taking all their time thinking of how to solve these problems. I think that this is a problem that the whole country, the civil society, is supposed to come together in solidarity with the business people to solve that problem. And we should never let this thing be a situation where we just wash our hands and let the business people worry about that. We all need to get involved in this situation that is happening there. It is not good. It is wrong for us to leave it in the hands of the business people only. Keep the fire burning.